what is going on everybody lynn here with a video for you all and i said i wasn't going to do this right i said i was not going to do this but this is a cool little set by is it tebic tebec tebic look y'all guess as good as mine but t-e-b-i-k tebic i don't know but this is a bullet journal kit to my knowledge okay so, I'm um, extremely new to bullet journaling, okay? I know a little bit here and there um, of, you know, like why bullet journal, uh, things of that nature. But I would like to get the fundamentals down so I can tweak it to how I would use it, all right? So, there's that. This is a kit. As you see here, you get the loose leaf notebook, a black pen, 15 fine liner pens, Five reusable plastic stencils, six washi tape set, one glue tape, five colors of index tab flags, six sticker sheets, one pair of scissors, and a bag of colorful paper. That is not bad for uh, what's in here. And as you see, website down there, and there's the email address if you have any issues. So, let's go ahead and open this guy up. That way we can fully see the contents of this. It's basically an all-in-one situation to where you have everything you need to get started in bullet journaling, which is freaking cool, okay? So, here's your 15 fine liner pens. So there's the pins. Grab one. You see it says fine liner pen. And that there you can see it. So you get 15 of those. There's your colors. To those who are interested. Okay, then these look like children's scissors, just saying. Then you get a pair of scissors. Oh, they're, oh, I thought they were serrated. They're not, but you get a pair of scissors. A pair of scissors is better than no pair of scissors, but they look like kid scissors to me. Then you get your pack of paper. So these are, as you see, different colored pages here. You got blue, red, orange, green, purple. And then we have some tabs. Then we have some stickers. Oh, these are like those uh, clear stickers. I like these. And then we have some stickers that you can write on. So these are just paper stickers. So you can see those. Then we have the pen. And believe me, it feels cheap, but it's a pen. So again, a pen better than no pen. Then we've got washi tape set and glue tape okay so there's the glue runner let's see does this flip open or something push what am I pushing oh oh it rolls to reveal the tape. Not bad. That's cool. Then we have the washi. So it's the skinny washi. And then you get six rolls of that. I like skinny washi. Then we have some stencils. Let's see. Let's 
Oh, these are really thin, y'all. Just let you know. These are super thin stencils. So be careful with these. They're easily easy to break. Okay, so let's go this way possibly. So here's one. It's hard to know which which way is up, which way. So that means this one is this way. Duh, there's the birdie. <laughs> so they're all like cattywankas. Now these are some nice uh, stencils. So these actually have everything you would need. You have your numbers. You have, uh, so you could do your um, checklists and such. You have icons. You have the alphabet. You have your boxes. You have your flags. So yeah, it has what you will need to do what you need to do. And this is the last item in the box. And it has their name monogrammed on it Ooh, oh that feels good it's like a faux leather but it almost have like a like a leathery feel to it yeah there's a little stain right there and so as you see it's a six ring binder you do have a cover sheet here and then we have all the pages cover sheet there here is your pocket in the back you can put your stencils in there and make sure they fit okay yeah you have your posts here of how it's it's a lot of paper so yeah you're good to go in reference to getting your uh bullet journal set up and not only that if you could see down the middle you can't but down the middle of these pages can you see that it's perforated all these sheets are perforated down here that's cool and let's check okay nice little satisfying click so yeah this is this is nice so you can just put your pin here There we go. And let's see. I'll take that out later. But I wish there was a closure. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So you can, and it looks like the pen will get in the way as well. So like, you'll have to pull it out. So it don't, you see how it wants to, you know, and it'll mess up your cover. Now this would need something to keep it closed to me. You see how that's, so it would need something to help keep it closed. And uh, so you could put like an elastic or something across there. But yeah, I want to, uh, again, work on getting situated as far as learning bullet journaling and such and i think that something like this would help out a lot especially having a blank slate so you can fully customize it the way you want since this is already here you can actually make this a dashboard put some stickers and stuff on there and you'd be good to go but yeah i just wanted to do an unboxing and show you all this journal it you know when you buy a new pair of shoes right like some sandals or something 
And a lot of times when you put the sandals on, the the way the the foot, you know, the part that your foot touches, how it feels, this kind of feels like that. You know, like a pair of Clarks. Put on a pair of Clarks. You know how your feet feel? That's what this part feels like. It almost feels like suede without the, you know how like when you run your fingers across suede, it leaves the fingerprint impressions. It almost feels like that, but of course, without the fingerprint impressions. This right here, I would say not get it wet. <laughs> you get it wet, it's, it's going to stain just by the way this feels. That I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest that. Like if you could do a cover on this cover, that would be cool, but... As far as this getting it wet, that would be a no-no in my opinion. But yeah, I think that'll be it for this video, guys. Thank you all for watching. And yeah, we are going to start somewhat of a bullet journal journey. <laughs> Take care, guys.